Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to another episode. It's Saturday, it's April, the sun still isn't shining. Are we ever gonna get any sun this year? I don't know, but we're happy. We've uh, we've made it to Matlock, or we're just outside Matlock at the moment, because we were, we were told to call in. Uh, our friends recommended uh, coming here, because they, they know some people, at the Bentley Brook Brewing Company. You know me, love a, love a good brewery. Uh, so while we're on the way into Matlock, which looks wonderful by the way, hilly, but we might have a plan around that. Our good buddy Trevor's going to give us a lift up the hill later, I think, so we might have to do too much walking. So we're going to start off, yeah, with the uh, the Bentley Brook Brewing Company. Let's have a good day out in Ma uh, Matlock. And he said Mansfield then, Matlock. Definitely Matlock. Lovely little place this, got three of their own beers on. This one, which I, uh, I've just had a little sample of, it was lovely. That one, and this is what I've got all together, which is a uh, a West Coast Pale. Uh, it's very, very nice. The lovely little shop and brewery with all sorts going on. One of these hidden gems that you wouldn't even know that this was here, honestly. Unless you, uh, you were told or you sought it out, you wouldn't even know that it was here. And it is a lovely, dog-friendly little establishment and a great little place to start. Cheers. Honestly, that's a hidden gem. Like you never wouldn't know that's there. That's down one of the like windiest, narrowest country roads you'll ever go along. Um, and it doesn't look like there's anything down there. It's obviously popular with walkers and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm glad we stopped because it's something that yeah we probably never would have explored, never would have known about had uh, had we not been advised to go. So nice to have done it. We've made it into Matlock now, and yeah, this is hilly, man. Like this is my worst nightmare before me because I can't even work out like we're trying to get our, our friend Trevor to give us a lift to the top of the hill but I can't even work out on Google Maps or anything like that where the top of the hills are with the bikes this is going to be an absolute nightmare for my calves and mood but you're gonna have to suffer that so right we're in Matlock anyway so got dropped off at the Duke of William I mean, that's beautiful isn't it? they're playing a, they're playing a, I think that's, you call it bowls do you call it out on the out on the front? I've never seen a pub with a with a thing a bowls thing on the front. So that's a, a brand new one on me. But look how beautiful that is. So uh, the Duke Williams says to the Sunday carvery and all you can eat breakfast. We've missed it sadly, but yeah. Uh, I do hate breakfast. Well, I don't hate breakfast. I don't hate the right. Don't ever don't take what she says as gospel. I don't hate breakfast. I hate the premise of being up to have to go and eat breakfast when I'd rather be asleep if I'm hungover. But I, I do like breakfast. But yeah. Uh, Start number two then, the Duke William. Looking forward to this, looks beautiful. That's right, it's Bulls, but B-O-U-L-E-S. And uh, they're, having a, they're having a great little game out there. They're having a great little game. So I think you have to get, someone will correct me in the comments if you like, I think you have to get the, uh, the little orange ball that's in the thing. You have to get the, it's the one that gets closest to that that wins. That's what I understand. Beautiful little part of this. Uh, low ceilings, beams. And this weekend is obviously sponsored for me by Dancing a Duck Brewery. Last weekend was Tiny Rebels weekend. Everywhere I went, there was a Tiny Rebel beer on. This week, everywhere we go, no matter what county we're in, it's a Dancing Duck beer, which I'm, uh, again, I'm, I'm really liking. Uh, it's Grand National Day today, by the way. But this is a beautiful little pub. Split into two sides. So I've got that bar size and this beautiful looking lounge bar. Look at that. This was shouted out to us quite a lot to, uh, to come and see. And I, uh, yeah, I totally, I totally understand why everybody said we would love this. It is beautiful. The Belter will pub that Duke William, and the good news is the next one was downhill. So literally, we've just walked. We walked straight down. It's taking us three minutes to walk down quite a steep hill, and we come to our, uh, our actual main town bit, the Red Lion, which will be our 35th Red Lion of the course so far. 35 Red Lions. Most of them have been pretty good as well. So uh, hold on, this this looks beautiful again. The old stonework and stuff on it. Smoke room from one side, the window's still intact, stuff like that. I like it. Start number three of the day, Red Lion. Run by a company called Moot Ales, that uh, new on me. No, I don't know anything about Moot Ales, not seen them anywhere, not heard of them. Uh, got a load of their own ales on, uh, including a pretty wonderful porter. That is absolutely brilliant. A load of their own. This is what I've got. This uh, this dark lane porter, and it is absolutely lovely. <laughs> Good stuff on the tap. Lovely old pub. Great old pub building, very smart, very well presented. They've got more uh, more of their own ales and stuff on uh, around the other side as well, but it's really nice, really beautiful little pub. Really clean, really tidy. Hang on, and this porter, superb. Right, I know I said it was hilly, but look at this view. This, this might explain to you how hilly it is. Look, 
So fortunately, Trevor very kindly, here he is, very kindly picked us up and brought us up here because uh, if I ever give you one bit of advice and you listen to it, it's this. Do not try and climb that hill. Because that is not a hill, that is a mountain. And you should not ever try and climb that to get to the pub. Get a lift or a taxi, believe me. That was ridiculous. But we're now at the top, I believe. There's a few pubs up here at the top and I'm all right at walking flat across the top and I'm all right at walking back downhill later. But do not, heed my words, do not climb that hill. Not wise. So we are, anyway. Start number four is gonna be the Laburnum Inn. And yeah, it's at the top of a mountain. Pub set set so far up, but got some uh, wonderful fibers and stuff on offer up here. Ash over ciders, which are obviously pretty local. Two up here and Brampton Brewery on a hand pole. Lovely looking little place, but it's, it's so remote. It's so remote up here. It must be kept going by the locals and stuff like that. But friendly little place, great great offering on the uh, on the taps and stuff and, and things. Yeah, it, it's worth the drive up. Do not walk it though. It's just my luck, isn't it? That just as we're leaving, a wonderful wood fire pizza food van turns up, don't it, to, uh, to occupy the, uh, the Laburnum car park for wood fire pizza. Cool fiery dough. Notice the deliberate spelling mistake, because now you want to look that up, don't you? You want to look that up, you're going to remember that. That's why deliberate spelling mistake. Pizzas look great as well, to be honest. Wonderful pizza oven and stuff in here. Look at this here. It's going to, it's going to go right in the oven, right in the oven, right in there. Look. You're going, to, uh, you're going to love that. So you go all around the area. Where about you go, top to the tap. Everywhere. Best thing to do is give us a follow on Facebook. Uh, at Fiery Door, spelled F-I-R-E-R-Y-D-O-U-G-H. And every Monday morning we'll put a weekly update saying where we are. Ah. There you go. You heard it here first. Make sure you follow them and check them out on Facebook. Honestly, looks amazing. All around the area. So I love these little food vans. It's such a great idea. Some of the best food we've had on, out on this crawl has been from some of these like food vans and, and vendors and stuff like that. So give them a follow. Look them up on Facebook. I bet you won't regret it. Pizzas look banging. Challenge of the day. I said we were going to go, but Darren said no, 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 no. You've got to try this. So he's cooked us up. Look at that. That looks pretty damn special. I'm looking forward to this. Should we try it together? Come on. Yeah, I, I, I burn my mouth a lot. Doing this. I am gonna eat, yeah, I'm gonna burn my mouth. This this is very hot, but look at this. Oh, that looks great. I am gonna leave it from him. I'll be back with you in a second. Look, she's eating, look. Happy? Mm -hmm. What's your verdict? Very nice. Yeah? She hasn't anything nice about me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dive him. So it's still hot, but I'm gonna I folded it over. Look. Bit of a calzone now. Look. Oh my god. That dough is amazing. That dough is phenomenal. Yeah, honestly, look at that cheese put as well. Honestly, look these guys up. That is absolutely superb. Mm. That pizza was mind blowingly good, honestly. And so that dough, so fresh. The ingredients, you can tell they're top quality ingredients. They obviously care passionately about what they do. And it's amazing. So, yeah, if you see them in your area, uh, do follow their Facebook page. Fiery Dough, but spell F I R E R Y. Weird, I know, but seriously, it's a talking point and it'll make you remember it. But if you see them around, go and try it, it's amazing. So, jump back in Trevor's, uh, Trevor's car. Uh, one minute in total. Sycamore Inn, lovely old looking pub. This is, I've lost count of pubs. It's not five in a day, Sycamore Inn. So, what I failed to mention, apparently the Laburnum, they've also got a balls pitch. I didn't see it, but we come to the next one, the Sycamore, and they've got uh, advertising, you walk in, a balls pitch. Apparently it's a big thing around here, so there's a league and everything. I'm stunned that having in 3,000 pubs, I've mean, never been the one that had a bowls pitch, and we've now been to three pubs in the space of the last two hours that have got bowls pitches. Madness. I've got to, I've got to learn more about this sport and maybe take it up. But, uh, yeah, got some ready on. Got any time to take any other any bits? No, I haven't got any time to take any new sport. You're right. Oh. Trevor's gone for this. Balmy days. What's it like, Trevor? It's fantastic. Fantastic from vocation. And Adnams. Oh, collab. Like you could collab. And the bass, for those of you that love bass, we know that. Lovely little place, lovely little fire going down there, which is something she's actually she's still happy from the pizza to be fair, so uh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna get in here for a while. Maybe an hour. Lovely little pub again though. We haven't seen it since we were in London at the Blind Beggar. You know the uh the pub where uh Ronnie Cray, Reggie Cray, whichever Cray it was that shot the other George Cornell, they had pub cats. This pub? Oh, pub cats. And he's uh he's just like chilling on the bar, look. 
Apparently his name's Jack. <laughs> Chill him. Okay, I'm treating you to all the best info today. Honestly, so he's got a car. And he's past the bottom here. Look at this. Look, and I've already come up this bit. This is this is insane. This pub better be worth it. I don't know. I couldn't live around here. Hilly. Well, I made it. Look. Come up there. I need ten minutes to sit down, Trevor. So the next one is the Thorn Tree Inn, and it is up yet another. Matt, honestly, I feel like I've done the Three Peaks Challenge already today. This is insane. There is a castle up there as well. Oh, can you see that? Look at that. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And when I've got my breath back, I'll come up there. These people, man. Thorn Tree and up next. Yeah, all right, I mean, the view was better from up here. <laughs> That's a beer garden view, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty beautiful. But I nearly died coming up the hill. I think quite a little layout. Uh, the old sort of bit that you'd find in the bars. Uh, TV and stuff. There are five ales on in there. Five. Nice little room. So the view, the views are stunning. And look at this golden retriever as well. A beautiful doggy. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty lovely little pub. That's what that hill. That wasn't even fun to walk down. Like normally downhill, I'm all right. That wasn't even fun going down. It's just ridiculous. <sighs> Anyway, I'm alive, and I'm ready for another beer. So, we've come to, what we've got, Jeff? We've got two, uh, two micro pubs in a, in, a, in a close vicinity, apparently. This one called The Pharmacy. Tell me about it, used to be an old pharmacy. It used to be, yes. Used to be an old pharmacy, Silver. no flies on me. Silver. I provide you the best information going. Well, that's your next one, just now. I mean, next one is just over there, literally I can see it, and it's not even that, it's not even that much of a gradient, so I'm all right with that. But yeah, The Pharmacy then is number seven of the day. Real ale bar. Kind of an ale. Some wicked choices in there. We've got sea cider. I think these are better than Lily's sea cider. That's an awesome. We've gone for this in here Frankenstein Porter. And it is pretty damn banging, to be honest. An absolutely lovely little place, this. Great little micro pub. Wonderful beer offering. And yeah, this, uh, this Frankenstein Porter. My second quarter of the day. And I say that's probably the best one so far. Brilliant. It's super little real ale bar that is. Lovely people in there, run by lovely staff. Great outsides, and that porter was banging. Absolutely banging. So just, it's been 100, 100 meters. Not even that bad on you. The other micro pub called the Newsroom, which is just here on a, yet another side street. I mean, this is pretty flat. That hill out there is ludicrous. Yeah, that's about it. So, newsroom then is stop eight. Phenomenal, phenomenal places. I've got another porter. Look, look at this. The porters in this town have been absolutely mega today, but that's not the best bit. Look, look, at, look at this. It's like being back in Edinburgh. Honestly, the amount of well, it's not raining. That's that's better. Yeah, it's not raining, so it's better. Than, it's better than Edinburgh in that sense. But yeah, even the a Vault City collab. I mean, I've never even seen before. An absolutely mega selection of the craft cans and stuff in here. Uh, tour size, I had not many weeks ago, and it was lovely. But some of the uh, some of the choices and stuff they've got going on in here are absolutely Brew York's ones, absolutely phenomenal. I'm very impressed. Neon Raptor, represented only down the road in Nottingham, where we're from. Gorgeous looking little micro, dog friendly as well. Sweetest, sweetest boy and some good ales on. That porter's great, but I think this is mega. I think this is absolutely brilliant. I love it. I could spend so much on those cans, like honestly, so much. Both micro pubs, absolutely phenomenal. The, the news house, honestly, I'd probably give that a 10 out of 10. The, the craft beer selection, the cans and, and stuff on top of the real ale, uh, yeah, another porter in there that was, that was magnificent. I'd probably give that a 10 out of 10. I think that is an absolutely phenomenal micro pub. But we're on the, furthest point on the last part of the hill now before we go back down into the town it's trevor's last pub of the day he's uh very kindly off to then drive us down the hill as well which is i mean even from there it just looks daunting doesn't it? so another green king pub corner duke of wellington big old looking boozer let's get it done let's get down into town
It's a, it's a Green King pub, isn't it? So standard Green King stuff, standard Green King handfuls, standard Green King taps, standard Green King menu. Uh, it's also a functioning hotel, still B&B style hotel. Um, with, with rooms and stuff, a bar. Few, uh, few of our grandfather clock, that's him, very awesome. Decent enough beer garden out to the side. Um, and yeah, a bit, of a, rust, a bit of rustic charm to the pub. But essentially, that's pretty much all to report. Trevor's going to drop us down into the town. Down to the town. Just to think what kind of mayhem we can cause down there. Thank God for Trevor Power. And I, I say, I know you watch this video, so thank you, Trevor, because honestly, even the thought of walking down those hills. Has, has filled me with dread uh, because they are they're not they're not friendly. So he's dropped us down. Trevor's gone. He's dropped us back down at the bottom of where the town part is. Do this the Tipsy Toad. It's called. Came highly recommended. Came highly recommended. Yeah, a lot of people shouted out the Tipsy Toad on our Facebook post. So thank you for that. We're very much looking forward to see it. it looks a bit modern. Uh, yeah, a bit of a, a, a modern sort of funny, but compared to where we've been so far, modern fun pub looking establishment showing the football. Happy days. Tipsy Toad, stop nine. Starbuck, got the, uh, got the Thatcher's Tower on. All other bits and pieces. No real ales. Blue Moon is on, on the other bit. What's the sport in it? And it is a decent vibe in. Lovely, modern looking little place. I really like it. You knew it was going to happen at some point, didn't you? The rain has happened. Hood up, look. Old hoodie over here. I mean, I could put my hood up, but I'm a real man and I don't. No, I did put my hood up because I was getting wet. Um, right, so. Former weather spoons because Matlock no longer has a weather spoons by the lounge brands. So, this is Australia Lounge. So, as you know, most of the time we do do the lounge brand, so we may as well go and do it, especially as it's a formal spoons. And they might still have the old spoons carpet down. So, you know, I can treat you to that if they do. Australia Lounge up next time. No, there is no, uh, there is no carpet in here, unfortunately. Weather spoons. It's been dug up and replaced by a wooden floor like they do in most of the lounges. But this, this will forever be one of the strangest sights to me in the world. This is people queuing in a queue to get to the bar. It's, it's such a bizarre way of doing absolutely anything. So. Queue it is. Next one's not far to walk to, uh, literally. It's right there. So I've come out of Stella Lounge. And Manhattan is up next. These are my kind of walks, all flat and less than 10 yards away. That's how I roll. An interesting little concept. So we came through the uh, through the front bar. There's, that, oh, there's another bar at the back. So we're in some kind of like weird shed, but it works quite well. Yeah. Works really well. Uh, it's more of a cocktail bar than it is anything else at the back. Yeah, decent vibe. Well busy as well. I like I like to see stuff like this. So yeah, come through the, the main bit, which it does look like a little bit of a cafe, uh, and you come out to this. Extra space. Good use of it. Right, down onto the main high street. Now, Manhattan's quite cool to be honest. Like, it's nice having that little extra space at the back. They've made good use of what they've got. Works really well. This is the uh, the main, it's by the train station. I don't know, I don't know what you call it, the road's called. I can't see a road name anywhere, but in an old bank, Rabona, which is a sports bar, sports bar and cantina. So that is the, uh, the first one of our final sort of drag down this road, it's the road that goes all the way down, it goes to Matlock Bath or Bath, whatever you want to say, I say Bath, but uh, it's that road, so uh, train station down towards Matlock Bath is the uh, the way to do the rest of it now. Rabona up next. Uh, it's down three floors, cocktail bar on the top floor, absolutely jam-packed bar that you could barely get in on the second floor. We've got to the back, where we've got, got that horrific forged Irish stout though, but you know, I'm holding against them, one of the awful punch machines as well, full table down it. But hey, I can sit down, there's a space down here, so why do that forge though? Awful style. Right, there's plenty to be getting on with in a, a really short distance, a short space now. Uh, just down from where we've just been, Bradman's. It's a wine cellar. Uh, technically, I assume that means a wine bar. Um, so we can try this. I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm not sure we're going to be here. Uh, uh, I've got absolutely no idea what that's going on with. I love it. What is it? What are your rugby team? Yeah. Promoting men's mental health, lads. Good lads. I like that. Hey, promoting. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I have no idea what that was, but I like. I like that a lot. Right, so we're gonna try and do the wine salon. No vibes. It's a nice. It's a really nice band. They're really nice aesthetic. Got all the. Uh, it's, it's a wine bar, isn't it? So it's the. Uh, they've got a cellar downstairs with a big old. It used to be a bank. So a big old bank bowl you can, you can go and have a look at. 
Can't say too much in here because usually we're always trying to have a funny. But yeah, nice enough looking. Yeah, I'll tell you more outside. But it's quieter. Swanky, swanky feeling wine, wine bar, like date night vibes and stuff. Nice. So yeah, we're going to go straight across the road then to uh, where the, uh, the, rowdy, the rowdy crowd. Here we are. 2010. We're going to go over. We're going to go over. We're going to go over. Hey, here we are. I like, I like these lads. Honestly, I like these lads. We'll go 2010 next. Nothing here. It's over there. Better live music goes great. Vault City on the craft theory. You can see them. That's the moment. Love it, man. It's there now. It's in the middle of the choir. Yeah. Colour kind of Vault City's on tap in here. Wonderful craft beer selection, stuff like that. It's a pretty wicked. It's a pretty wicked place. I'm on a pub crawl. I'm on the pub crawl. Hey. Chaotic to say the least. Live music is great. It's so it's so busy. It's so bad. It's great to see. And there were so many people that seemed to know we were in there. Like as you, as you saw come up on the uh, on the video. But lovely, lovely to meet. We love meeting people. Honestly, do, if you do see us, please do come and say hello because we do really love meeting you all, and it is great. And it's nice that people do follow and support. We do because without you, we couldn't do it. But it, in a way, it's nice to be out of there, uh, somewhere a little less chaotic. Right, follow the bods. Been in a few of these. You know I love Titanic Brewery, it's one of my favourites. Very much looking forward to this earlier. It looks like a lot more subdued than next door, so I can't wait to get in here. Bod next. I love a Titanic pub, I can't say I don't. Any, every single one of them. The, the Titanic don't make bad pubs, they really don't. Right, this was shouted out to us a million times on the page. The remarkable hair. I always thought it was a micro pub. That does not look like a micro pub to me. So buddies, I think, and spuddies, they might all be the same business, I don't really know. Buddies might be a bar, might not be a bar. Can't really tell if it is. But we're going to do a remarkable hair because this one was shouted out to us. And it's got to that, poor, uh, that point in uh, time where we need to prioritise what we want to go to just in case we run out of time. So remarkable hair is going to be next portal. Sitting down off to it with shout it's a little bit underwhelming. They, they definitely need more staff actually serving in here. Been, in, been in about 10 minutes so far and still not got a drink. Probably still waiting at the bar. Um, Staff walking around with no one actually serving on the bar, barring one girl by looks like But beer choice looks great. Uh, it's a lovely aesthetic. Dog friend, beautiful, beautiful Labrador in there called Billy, who was a great greeter. Um, yeah, decent enough stuff on their thing, but yeah, staff, staff constantly in and out from behind the bar, but absolutely no one else serving, barring one girl who keeps disappearing, coming back, and yeah, a bit, weird. A bit underwhelming. See how. How many times people sort of say, oh, this is the one that you'll love this. Great, great looking pub, but they need, they need some staff on that are actually serving, I think. Bit of a shame, bit of a shame. These are two staff that have been behind the bars, like just sitting, chatting, mucking about. I don't know, I find it, I find it weird. Like, there, are, there must be at least 10 different staff that have been through that bar, I can say. Still no sign of the drink. It's bizarre to me. I mean, we did finally get a drink. Let's have a look at what else they've got. Oh, this one I've actually got on in here. Callum Islands. We're going to go there very soon. Sheffield, that is. That's a different old mood to see on. Don't see it very often. And then you've got one, two, three. So right, I'm just video what you've got. Thank you. Yeah. On them. Yeah. It's a, it's a decent sized bar, and I feel very, very sorry for the girl who just spoke the one who was, who was try, tried it on her own because it doesn't feel like she's got very much help from very many people at all. Being called to video a doggy station. A proper doggy station. So you know we love a good doggy station. To be fair, that is pretty cool. <laughs> to be fair, as far as doggy stations go, that's, that's a pretty damn good one. That's a, that's, yeah, it's got all the biscuits and all sorts, isn't it? My Labradors would love that. So yeah, we came out of there, we wanted to do Ruby Go, and I'm pretty sure that says on Google it was until midnight, but that's well and truly closed. Uh, all chairs on the tables. So, I think the last port of call, if we can get in, I don't know if there's a dress code or whatever, but last port of call is Monk Bar, which is just there. Um, sister pub in Belper that I've done before. That actually, I, I quite like the, one, the, the Belper one. So Monk Bar, I think it's probably the last port of call for the night. And that was Matlock. Monk Bar. Aesthetically, very, very similar to the one in Belper. Beautiful looking inside, beautiful cocktail bar. There's a load of like, can't say that. Club Trop on, uh, on a tap and stuff as well. 
I like it. Honestly, I like these places. I like the Belper one. I like this one. Um, bit loud in here. Copyright YouTube. Can't do it. But yeah, I'll talk to you more outside before we go. Finally, give up after this and we're home. Good day, though. Matt, that's been a good day.